This is Avarice, a free demo available on Steam. I think the full price was about five bucks. It says, face down unfathomable evil in a unique roguelike experience. If it exists in the world, you can throw it tables, chairs, whatever. So let's check this out. The castle is a twisted, corrupted husk of what once what it once was. I am here to kill the Demon King and banish his army. If you were reading this, I did not succeed. My successor, the kingdom's fate is now rests on your shoulders. Oh boy. Okay. So we've got a bunch of stuff here. I shall leave a cache of weapons at each uh, at the entrance of each floor. Take what you desire, but limit yourself to three. Okay, so we got a war hammer here. Uh, it's kind of glitchy when it when you walk. It doesn't follow the hands super well. Oh, you can throw it. Cool. Spears are powerful weapons. If you take the time to charge your throws, they will pierce multiple throws. A weak throw can cause your spear to become stuck. Alright. Daggers are the most lightweight. Travel quickly when thrown. Gather as many as you can find. Reliable in numbers. Okay, so we'll just we'll grab a bunch of daggers here, and then we'll leave the uh, some are enchanted with fire. Okay, deal damage over time. Great. No, oh. and it throws. Oh cow! <laughs> Holy cow! One hit wonder there. Oh my goodness. Ha ha ha, you died. Try to save the kingdom again. Okay. Oh, it started me in a different spot. So let's grab a couple of these again. And the daggers. Okay. This moves kind of slow. It's kind of fun. Uh, looks like there's a dead dude here. Let's go check this out. Might not always be within reach. Junk littering the castle is surprisingly deadly when thrown. Oh, I see. So we just like... Oh, oh! <laughs> he explodes in blood. Holy cow. Uh, that's a little grotesque. I bet this thing died, uh, attacks you. Or something. So let's smash it with a hammer. Okay, that's kind of cool. Wham! <laughs> so yeah, pretty basic mechanics. Uh, WASD, you can rotate, let go to throw. You can throw objects like people. You got a penalty to speed when you're carrying more stuff. Um... So we gotta go this way, and I really kind of—I don't know about this this blue thing here. Yeah, okay. He he really comes after you when you do that. He does not like being thrown. He does not like things being thrown at him uh, for some reason. And he oh man, this is scary. Ah, okay. Two hits to kill him. Algor mortises are not aggressive by nature, but I found them to be highly vengeful. Don't touch one lest they freeze you solid. Okay, so they're not aggressive. But, you mess with them, and they'll heck you up. Uh, that guy... Oh. Okay, he doesn't know where I'm looking. dagger a bit better. Oh, he's picking up my stuff. Okay. There we go. Bandit rangers arrow fly fast. Their greed can get the better of them. Try baiting them into advantageous... Oh, okay. So they'll they'll take your weapons as, as I kind of figured out. Oh, that's... That's a something. Okay. We got it. Wear armor at all times. They're fierce. 
you won't last long without it. Okay, so we got some armor now. That's good. Uh, let's pick up this box. Don't know what that is, but that looks kind of scary. Uh, that guy. He didn't take the the bait there. And die. That thing is slowly coming towards me. Oh, crap. So let's try this again. Quit, quit picking up that note. Yeah, he, he is aggressive. Do not like him. Okay. Um, let's throw a knife at him. Oh, that didn't work. That's not working very well. Oh, that worked. <laughs> okay, that's good. I was getting kind of worried there. We're just going to throw things at this guy until he dies. Perfect. Can we pick up these arrows? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, no, we can only pick up one at a time. I have a feeling that that one is a different one. Because he's got blood on him. So I don't trust it. Oh. Okay. That was cool. Corpse eaters hide among their victims, waiting for new flesh to add. Watch for movement when approaching bodies. Avoid a grisly end. Okay. Oh. Uh, that thing looks kind of scary. The uh, pathfinding on these enemies is not the greatest, I've noticed. Uh, which does make it a little bit easier. Malevolent spirits dwell within some Iron Maidens. Some can safely be thrown, others will grant an agonizing embrace. Okay, so that one was going to hurt me if I, uh, if I approached it and tried to grab it. But you can pick them up, so that's good to know. Uh, it did say, like, everything can be picked up. Ah, uh, whoops. Okay, so when they separate, you can kill them in, like, one hit. And I'm going to assume that basically everything can kill you in one hit, more or less. Oh, that has fire. comes out. Fallen cherubs are common demons that fly and spew fire. Okay, they don't, they don't take too much damage. They die pretty easily. Oh, hello. Undead hermits crawl around on all fours, so passive you must not stray too close. So we've got a pretty good speed bonus now from killing a bunch of guys. Oh, whoops. How about we do a better job of this? There we go. Okay, pick up all our weapons again. Because we, we kind of screwed that up. There we go. Now we're getting it. We're getting the hang of this. We got a map up in the upper right hand corner here. And I think I'm supposed to go this way because that's where the arrow is pointing. Uh, not sure what that blood is all about. But I don't like that, the way that looks. Now, oh, whoops. I'm going to be careful here. Ooh, two for one. Nice. So you can kill multiple things if the uh, if the object you're throwing is big enough. You can kind of kill multiple things at once. Yeah, like I hurt both of those things at the same time. I like the way the objects just kind of float around. There's a lot of corpses. I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> well, there we go. That's... That's what that is. Okay, we gotta be careful to avoid the uh, little frost thing there. Looks like there's two of them. So there's one down here. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh. There we go. Oh, we don't have to kill the frost thing. Okay, good. We just had to kill the uh, all the other stuff. Oh, it went back up. Oh no, it's going up because of that. Okay, that's a weird glitch. It's going up because of the, the blue thing there. The ice the ice guy. I'm not very good at throwing these things. I'm just gonna go and take them all out here. Cause why not? 
yeah, we're, uh, we're stuck again. It's about what I expected. That looks like a very big, uh, archer there. Oh, crap. I didn't even see that little guy. Yeah, they'll heck you up. So we've got a ton of weapons here. We probably don't need. And we are going towards the final boss battle, it looks like. Ow. Now, oh, whoops. Let's grab another spear here if we have one. I should. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, grab all these weapons. We're gonna need them. We're moving pretty slow. That's okay. We'll lose a bunch when we go and fight that boss, but we need all the uh, all the weapons we can get, I think. Each armor takes like one hit, <laughs> is what I'm learning. All right, well, let's... We're just going to kite around the corners here. Beautiful. And, uh, yeah. We'll grab that. And he's going to, wow, zoom around a little bit. Oof. Okay. So we got him. Let's grab this. Thanks for playing our demo. Find us on Steam or itch.io. And that's it. We got some credits, so we'll talk about the game. Pretty basic, uh, top-down, little roguelike game. I actually really enjoyed this demo. Yeah, it was... I mean, it was it was good. Uh, the mechanics were basic. There were a few glitchy areas, uh, like with the, the locking doors with the little eye ice monster things um, but pretty cool I like the visuals uh, the controls are pretty intuitive I know there was more than you know I was using there was a sprint button and different things but I uh, didn't really need them lots of different enemies with different play styles and how you got to approach them so for how basic the demo was I actually quite enjoyed that not sure I'd pay five bucks for for it the whole game but I'm also not a big roguelike uh, player so if this is your type of game, I'd say it's, you know, looked pretty decent to me. Played through it all in one go, so it wasn't that hard. And that would be maybe a, a, a an improvement for later is maybe make it a bit more difficult. I found it a little easy to go through, uh, but maybe that was the point of the demo is just to get you used to it as kind of a, you know, newbie tutorial type level. That was Avarice, the, the demo on Steam. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll be back with some more free games about once a week. I will see you all in the next video.